This is a recording of my recently built project about multiple object tracking. And this is a simple project implemented utilizing YOLO v8, and the GUI is developed based upon Qt's framework. So first, we can click the setting button right here to see what functions we can use before the model inference. And we can choose different models. And the difference between these two models is the amounts of their parameters in the neural networks when they are trained. And second, we can also slide this bar right here to change the value of intersections over union, conference threshold, and the delay of the videos or any other live streams. And last but not least, we can also choose whether to save the detected images or videos along with their label information which will be saved in specific folders in the current working directory all right then let's get down to actual function demonstration let's choose one of one of the files in the folder and get started takes up a little bit of time for the model to initialize so now, as you can see, on the left panel, this place the trails corresponding to the objects on the right panel. And on the right panel, we can see the ID of each object and the class and the conference. While on the top, we can see the total classes in the current frame, total objects, and the frame per second. And of course, the model we use for this inference. And this white line here, it calculates the traffic on the road. Like for example, if the car goes from down to up, the out plus is one. And if the car goes from this side to that side, the in plus is one. And we can also click this button to see the real time traffic graph. The x-axis displays the current time, while the y-axis implicates the number of the cars, which is the sum of in and out as time goes by. Okay, let's get to our second function. We can also call our native cameras on our device like my laptop as what's shown on the screen you can see it's me in front of the camera and it's me class person and the bottles behind me all right okay then we can also choose the RTSP as the third method of input source. So right now, I just have to pull out my phone. Wait a second, I'm looking for my phone. And turn on the IP camera on my phone. Make sure I typed in the right address and then click confirm and let's go so it's already using the camera on my phone for the real time inference and the object detection and tracking and you can see it's me with my hand and it still sees me as a person even if I only showed my hand and even if I swing around I am still a person and if I swing around a little bit it still knows I am the same person in the current frame and also in the previous frames okay and then I almost forgot this. There's another function 
which is the single object tracking. Like for this video as an example, if I click this and I choose one of the IDs on the right panel, like 54 for example, which is uh, this little car on this lane. And uh, let's go. So you can see on the left, top left, it's tracking the car as it, it is moving. We can also switch our ID, our objects like uh, uh, 106 or 99. Wait a second. Oh, they disappeared. Or uh, 142. Oh, the video is over. Let's do this again. 16. Yeah, it shows the tracked bounding box on the top left. Okay, that's pretty much of the projects.